At the request of a subscriber to my channel, here is an analysis of how Mike Austin achieved such high clubhead speed. The downstroke of a golf stroke takes place in around 0.025 seconds. Watching in real time, you can perceive that body rotation can create clubhead speed. When you make still photos of the real-time speed, scientific analysis shows that your perceptions are misleading and incorrect. What do these photos show? His first move was to sit into his knees with virtually no upper or lower body rotation. This allowed his hands and arms to start on a correct path in the downstroke. Maximum cocking of the right wrist stretch reflex tendons, feet flat on the ground, left knee pointed at left big toe, Mo Norman, hips square to the target line, shoulders still closed to the target line. Mike's high club head speed came from the right wrist stretch reflex releasing as late in a golf stroke as you will ever see. This produced 25 to 35 percent of his club head speed. Shortening the radius of an arc contributed around 10 percent of his club head speed. Feet still flat on the ground, left knee still bent and pointed at left big toe, hips still square to the target line. At and through impact, shoulders square to the target line, hips still square to the target line, left knee still bent and over the left big toe, right heel slightly off the ground, head over right knee, no body rotation. Only well into the follow-through does body rotation, diving over to the left leg, straightening of the left leg, and posing at the end occur. Every golfer needs a unique pose 